folks, today we are here in Branson, Missouri, and we're going to head into Billy Gales. We've heard so much about this, the home of the billion dollar bacon, and they also, 14 inch pancake. Dawn, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do Let's it. Let's do this. This place is busy. There's always a wait to get inside. I'm excited for this. Now, the last time we were here, we weren't able to do this, but today's the day. Today, we're gonna do Billy Gales. A big boy serving up a big stack of pancakes. Usually it's a it's a cheeseburger. It's gonna be a 45 minute wait and they are always busy here. I'm excited for this. I've been been wanting to do this for a long time. It's a nice day. Help, I've eaten and I can't get up. <laughs> I got different t-shirts in here. Billy Gales. Flat Creek Billy Gales. And here is their menu. Let's take a look at this crazy, crazy menu of all menus. We have finally made it to Billy Gales and they're known for their humongous pancakes that probably wouldn't even fit on this table. And they're known for their billion dollar bacon. They're also known for their five egg omelet. They have catfish and eggs. They have a, they have a one pound ham breakfast for $16.99. They have the Billy's Belly Buster. Order if you dare. <laughs> wow, so a lot of their items are, are humongous. And that's their that's their pancake right there and here is the one pound mighty tenderloin it's a giant pork tenderloin served with golden brown topped with lettuce tomato onion and pickles for $14.99 so you're gonna get the tenderloin aren't you now this thing is huge but you, but you don't come to Billy Gales and not get you know, one of their signature items, right? I ordered the Monte Crisco, and it says it comes with its billion dollar bacon, so I'm interested in what that tastes like. And everything is huge. I'm looking around, and everything is huge here. Like, all the proportions are crazy big. Did you see the size of that pancake? <laughs> yeah. Our lunch and breakfast is here. This is my 
Monte Crisco. Comes with a side of um, hash browns on uh, some French toast. But take a load of Dawn's pork. That's a sandwich, Dawn. Put, you should put a top on that bun. Dawn, there's your sandwich. <laughs> you see that? Look at, look at. <laughs> I can't believe that's a sandwich. So it's got a bed of fries. It's got the uh, pork uh, cutlet, right? And then you have, of course, the top, the bun, the pickles, the onion. It's got some. What is that supposed to uh, be? That's the mayo. How are you supposed to eat that? You just start cutting into it. <laughs> Go ahead and try that out. Obviously, you're not going to. Oh, looks good. Obviously, you're not going to eat all that. <laughs> you're going to take a lot home. Look at that. And if you think that's big, you should check out the pancake. It's even bigger. It's it's bigger than the whole plate. Yes, it is. <laughs> how's that how's that pork pork sandwich doing, Dom? <laughs> Kinda ridiculous to even put a lid on it. <laughs> Look at the size of that French toast. And you got two eggs. You got the billion dollar bacon down there. Some cheese. And there's the side view of that Monty. How you doing with that sandwich over there? <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna do it. I have to. There's no way of picking it up. I gotta cut it. It looks good. So you can taste the brown sugar in that billion dollar um, bacon, right? Ooh, really good. good. It's, it's more candied than it is like anything, right? All the powder, sugar, everything else. But that's their famous bacon there. Wow. Really, really good. What do you think of that Monte Cristo? Crisco? Really yeah, it's almost like candy, right? In the million dollar bacon. Million dollar bacon, or billion dollar. <laughs> and Dawn did give a good try at it, but you didn't You didn't succeed. <laughs> There's a lot. Well, I guess that'll be going back to the fridge, right? That place is sick. It's... It's crazy. It's it's nuts. So, <laughs> wow! Everything is like huge, <laughs> right? Yeah. What, what 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 that? Um, just just huge. There's a lot left. Yes, we got. Oh the gosh. Put in the container. <sighs> and that is probably that you know so that was that was probably the most I have eaten in a in a while, and definitely this was a cheat day for that. Uh, Kind of hard to turn, you know, Billy Gales down when you're in when you're in Branson, you know. But uh, yeah, we'll go back to the car. We'll talk a little more about it. But it was good. It was good. Now we need to go and walk this off because that <laughs> is. So much. I didn't expect it to be that big, right? And they're voted the best breakfast in Branson. You know, for a restaurant having the gimmick of having the biggest items. The food tasted really good. And I thought the prices were very reasonable, you know, especially being in a tourist area for what you got. And I think if you go there, you have to plan that you're, you know, you're going to take some home, right? And maybe have it a little bit later or maybe share something. Yeah. And that's what we should have done. We should just shared a sandwich. But you want to try something in the menu? I want to try something in the menu. Yeah. But I took a couple bites of his and he took some of mine. So. so it did take us 45 minutes to sit down. Uh, but when we sat down, they took our orders immediately and the food came out immediately. So they must be making this food, you know, consistently. Uh, the place is always packed. In fact, the last time we were here, I think might have been the reason why we didn't go is because literally it's, it's an hour, two hour wait to get in here. Yet again, nobody stands in 
line for bad food, right? Yep. Um, and there's no lines for bad food. So anyways, um, and the food came out. It was piping hot. It was good. Uh, my Monte Crisco was was awesome. Perfect. Um, the bacon was candied, brown sugared. Uh, they call it the billion dollar bacon. And it was really good. <laughs> billion dollar bacon. Billion dollar bacon. Yep. And um, wow. I didn't have to put the syrup. Like they, they brought the syrup. I didn't have to put syrup on I wouldn't, it. No, no. Because it was already it like had flavors. Like stuff on it. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like getting a good steak and putting A1 on it. You know, you don't want to do that, right? But um, wow. And then your I had a little bit of your your pork and it, it was good. Mm-hmm. It was good. So I guess the big question we always ask in all these like reviews is Dawn, would you do Billy Gales again? Yes, I would, but I would order something different to try it. You know, if we do Billy Gales again, we have to go on those <laughs> we're gonna be like this. <laughs> um I would share something. Yeah. I would get like the big if you're going for breakfast, get the big breakfast and share it. Yeah. Because they have a belly buster in there. And I saw that. And the thing was like, I mean, there must have been four pounds of food on that thing. And if you did that, fifteen dollars for breakfast, I mean, if you think about it, not bad at all. Um, yeah. And the atmosphere in there was really cool. It had like the signs and you felt like you're in this shack out in the middle of the the Ozarks, right? Now, Billy Gales, I know they have multiple locations, but we visited the one nearest to Silver Dollar City. Um, and so, yes, pretty cool. I will be back. We we will be back, right? Yeah. Uh, we just wanted to show you our experience uh, here at Billy Gales. And if you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you miss these upcoming road trip adventures. Guys, we are on a road trip to fun. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.